Hey everyone and welcome back to 100 Baby Child Challenge Final Hope. It's been a little while. Um, I wanted to let you know that there's an episode today, but there's also going to be an episode tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. Now, as uh, as I mentioned before, I had the, there was a video where I showed it, I had the infinite baby glitch, and it was frustrating, but I moved to town, and she seems to be okay now. She is pregnant, I just used the master controller mod to pollinate her, which is basically impregnate her with the same guy as before but of course we lost all of our relationships from the previous town and we don't own any of the property that we previously owned now let me know how you feel i can go back into that save and write down what we owned and i can just purchase it again um, off camera or i can just rebuy it again i mean it's not like i don't have the money and also i'm kind of wondering how you'd feel about my using a cheat to make some friends for them in town and then any that uh any that overlap with the people they already knew just setting the relationships back to where they were because it is a little frustrating to have gotten so far with so many people and now it's just now it's just gone but you know what we're doing this we can do it we can definitely do it so she wants to reread a pregnancy book now actually when i had her go through to test it to give birth she actually had the single baby glitch because her chance of giving birth to multiples was way too high not to be the glitch but, um, you know what? You know what? It's going to be okay. It's going to be a-okay. Now, I think she knows, yes, she knows how to make cookies. Aw, oh, man, I didn't mean for you to stop reading the book. But, yeah, make cookies and then eat them and then finish reading the book. She's actually not that hungry, but, no, she's going to make them and eat them. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Are you going to? No, don't do that. Use the toilet. Christian, Christian, what do you want to do? Socialize with the supernatural. Well, we'll be able to do that, but you should probably get some rest. Come down here, have a nice hydrotherapy to get rid of the fatigue, and then go on and sleep in this bed. I know this is a little sparse down here. I will be building it out more. Um, like I said, with all these glitches and all that, it's just been a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Just a smidge, but we'll get there. Clean bug cage, we can do that. That's an easy one. So after he gets out of school. The kids are all doing okay. They are. The kids are alright. And oh I've got this weird glitch where um they'll be using the uh the baking station and end up making a birthday cake. Which is very strange to me. But I'm kind of curious if it's going to happen again. So I'm going to have me or Jane come and serve a... She's too tired. Oh, cooking skill required. Pie. She can't make anything. Bread. Cake. Nope. Serve. Cake. No, she can't make anything at all. Alright, Tobes. Well, you're in a position where you can do this. Um... Wow, there, there's a weird glitch going on with that, too. I'm having a lot of glitches. A lot of them. His cooking skill is level 5. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You grab a plate of those delicious cookies. Eat the cookies. And then finish reading Totes Preggers. Totes. Um, attend free game. And I actually wanted to read a book, not listen to a tabcast. Read totes priggers because we're already. Ew, what was that? Something just made a friggin' creepy noise. I think it's one of the kids sleeping. I don't know what these items were. I might need to download the mod that cleans up their inventories because those are just things. Something made a creepy noise. I'm gonna tell him to clean the bug cage because he's in pretty decent shape. Sign up for an after-school activity. That might be a good way to get the kids out of our hair, but honestly, it makes it harder for them to do well in school. And ultimately, that's our goal, because we want to age them up. Fiona O'Reilly is coming home with Easton. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. She wants to make cookies. Okay, she's a little fixated on the cookie thing right now. A little fixated. Okay, he's sleeping. Um, yes, they'll go on a field trip. Let's see, now, when this happens, what happened last time is that, like, the dish completed, and when she went, when Mary Jane went to put it on 
the counter, it turned into a, um, a cake. And now she can make stuff on there, so that's weird. Okay, Tobes. When you put it over there, is it a cake? No, it's still a thing. Perfect. So kick it up a notch. And then put away the leftovers. Put away leftovers. Thank you. And then I really need you to come on in here and just clean this up a little bit because your, your beautiful, beautiful niece is going to go crazy. She's just going to go bonkers from all of this. I'm going to change this to kids. It's already kids. Yay. And she's going to come dance when she's done. Our maids never clean up the newspapers and all of that. It's probably not a great thing that they don't actually take that thing, that kind of stuff, seriously. Now, I also forgot to put down a new elixir shop, so that's going to be fun. I need to put down one of those. Oof, all these kids. So many kids. We're going to get to the point where they start glitching, which is going to suck. You need to drink some plasma juice, my friend. Have a quick meal of plasma juice. No, I meant that you should, like, clean up the rest of it, too. Don't eat the breakfast calzone. That's, like, certain death. No, go home. You're doing your homework. You should do your homework as well. Hi, camera. Everybody do their homework. Everybody do your homework. Yeah, you can stop that, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, Mommy April's gonna put your imaginary friends in a bonfire if you don't knock it off. It gets a little weird if you just put the objects down to delete them, so I might have to just give them to, um, give them to Toby. Toby's got the insane inventory, may as well. Because, boy... Boy, do I dislike that. Make sure we got his. Okay, I can't take... Oh, he's not home. There we go. Take his. Take his. Nope. Misclicked. Oh my god. April. Come on. Boop. There we go. Yay! Basic motor functions. There's no excuse for me being unable to do that. I'm not having nerve issues today. I'm just kind of sucking. Nope, we're not getting a washing machine. I do not need tons and tons and tons and tons of piles of clothes lying around that our maids will have zero interest in actually dealing with. Okay, Tobes. Clean up. Clean up. And we should definitely have him put away, or kick it up a notch, and then put away the leftovers there. Hi, sweetness. Once you're in the door, guess what we're doing? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. We're just gonna... I'll just take that. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna put that right in there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Do your homework. No imaginary friends. There should be a way you can throw them out. That'd be really nice if you could just chuck them in the garbage. No, that seems cruel. But I figure all's fair in love and sanity. And anything that makes me want to punch something in the face is probably not the kind of thing I need in my life. I vowed to let go of anything in my life that isn't isn't helpful, so let's do. Now they want she got a toy chest. She wants or excuse me, she got a costume chest. She wants a toy chest. So that's what we're gonna get right now. Yeah, here we go. Toys. We're gonna get a toy chest that is not ugly. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Um, the tomfoolery toy box. What's that look like? Eh, okay. That's fine. It's in the spirit of this house. There we go. I just love Tudor-style houses. Like, I know this house is old-fashioned, and I will every once in a while update it and all that, but I really love this house. I actually can't tell you how much. I just, I, I love this house. What's everybody up to? 
Christian's sleeping. Mira Jane is sleeping. Mira Jane sleeps a lot. Just saying. Just saying. What are you doing? Complain about video games. Like, wow, video games are just awful. Stuff. Stuff about video games. Let's let him just talk and have fun. Are you done reading that yet? Seems as though you've been reading that for a while. Now tomorrow what I'd like to do is send her out for a nice massage. I don't see any reason not to. You should probably just go to sleep. Everybody's homework done? Everybody's homework done. Good job, kiddos. Good job. What about you, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, all of you come play. Oh, that's actually really cute. That's really cute. Grayson, you're adorable. <laughs> wow, still reading. Okay. She's starting to get tired. Is there a glitch that's going to keep her reading eternally? Because boy, if there were any time to have something like that, it would be right now. Alright, go to sleep. Don't dance. Go to sleep. I know you're tired. Get to sleep. Off you go. Alright, there we go. Go to sleep. You know what? I understand not wanting to sleep on the side that's already turned down, because that's cold. If I forget to, to cover up my side of the bed when it's cold, I get so upset. Just because I'll go upstairs to lie down. And I'm already really tired. And I actually start to feel kind of this. Okay, this is how it feels when I'm tired. And I've heard from people that this is not how they feel. So I guess it's kind of weird. When I'm tired, I feel like my veins are full of glue. I'm being cascaded in, uh, or like, you know, uh, like I have, uh, excuse me. I'll have cold water rushing over my skin. And I feel out of sync with time. Like, everything is moving just a second off. So when I get really tired, that's how it feels to me. Um, and I've, I've definitely heard from some people that that is not how it feels to them. So, I'm a little curious. So what's dirty? Do you need to take out the trash? What is it in here that's gross? Snack bowls. Snack bowls. Oh. That? No. Put away the leftovers. She's sleeping. He's sleeping again. Christian. Christian, you've been sleeping a lot. Are you sick? Oh, and I did have to leave Chadrick and Leo behind in the other town. I can make copies of them and bring them over and then try to repair the relationships. Oh, kids. Why do you keep sleeping in that treehouse? There are better beds. There are definitely better beds. Where are you sleeping? Okay. Well, you know, to each their own. You boys do you. You do you. Alright, everybody's sleeping. You should go to the bathroom, Mir Jane. Oh good, that isn't dirty now. You should use the toilet. I will make indoor bathrooms for them. I'm probably going to extend out the house and maybe connect it to the nursery at some point. That's the plan, at least. Alright, it is 1.45 a.m. I don't think anywhere I'm going to send her will result in her meeting anyone. So what can we do? She wants to learn the fishing skill. She wants to improve her cooking skill and travel abroad. Um, so she doesn't have... Let's get her a... And this is the last time I actually want to go into... Um, into buy mode while I'm in an episode because it can get it can get touchy sometimes and it's very upsetting. Alright, so you're going to take this and you're going to listen to a fishing tab cast and then you're going to come on in here and serve a breakfast calzone. Let's just keep working on that cooking skill. If it's going to make you happy, I'm happy doing it. Um, see Grayson be... Grayson... See Grayson... See Grayson be a genius. But we're not going to do that. Not right now, at least. It's 
Tuesday. These kids have a little while to age up. She's already doing well in school. He's doing well in school, doing well in school, doing well in school, doing well in school, doing well in school. So it's very little time, I think, before we're going to end up having them on the honor roll and being able to age them up. 53 vehicles removed. Wow, this town is packed full of vehicles. He wants to train with a training dummy. You have one. You should do that. We should satisfy those wishes because wishes are the first step to happiness. It's kind of tacky, but whatever. Oh, that doesn't work. I thought that worked as a training dummy. Welp. Um. No, I'm not going into buy mode again right now. We will have him work out, but I'm not going to go into buy mode right now. All right, kiddo, you need to get up, eat, shower, eat. Get up and eat and shower. You're going to need to shower. You are pretty fine, but you'll need to shower before you go. Okay, kiddos. What's he need? He's good, too. They'll have to get cleaned up before they go, but otherwise, they're fine. Miss here is very hungry. She wants to eat ice cream and spaghetti, but that's not going to happen, because that is, first of all, it's nasty. And secondly, it's not going to happen, because it's a pain in the butt to get those combos. Okay, make your bed. All right, fine. Make your bed. Let's turn this on. Change to kids. Nope. Change to kids music. We're going to have it on for when she goes and does her thing. But we are going to send her off for a massage today that's going to satisfy some wants and make her a happy camper. Which ultimately is really the thing we want. So yes, have a breakfast calzone. After you do that, I want you to serve some cookies and then we're going for a massage. It's going to feel so good. Okay, he's getting cleaned up. He's tired, but good. She's getting cleaned up. You need to go get cleaned up, sweetheart, before school. And I think that's the first time in a while that they're all going to actually go to school in good shape. Isn't that interesting? How's he feeling today? Not lucky. Um, I don't know what we're going to have Christian do. Christian should just hang out. Encourage Usagi to increase her skills. That's cool. Or improve her skills. That's cool, too. Increase, improve, whatever you want. Um, we're going to push ourselves. Toby will be fine. He's immortal and amazing, so I don't really see that big of a deal. I wonder if you go... Do you know if you go to the spa dirty when you come out, are you clean? Is that a thing? Did you... Kiddo, you need to come get some food. Come grab a plate. That satisfied a wish for mama. Come on out here. Use the all-in-one bathroom. She's not going to be happy, though. It's going to get dirty. And then you're going to come and have a soothing salvation package. We like those. We like how they make us feel. Speaking in the royal we. Alright, kiddo. You're going to read something. That's cool. She's good. Oh. He didn't get his cookie. Go get the cookie. Eat your cookie first. Then go to school. You have a little while before you'll be late. She's hungry too, but she should be okay before lunch. Let's just get him to where he's not going to be utterly starving. Okay. Perfect. Still pushing yourself. It's okay that you're dirty. It's okay. We're not going to have him do that right now, but we'll have him do it eventually. She spent over 400 simoleons at the, uh, at the spa. The spa here is beautiful that they made. Um, a lot of the buildings that they made specifically for this, uh, for this town are really fantastic. You need to go to school, baby. I know you probably got sent home. You're not in trouble. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. We'll have him let you off the hook later. Why are you doing our maid's job? I'm sorry that our maid sucks, because he really does, but... Why don't you go? I want to keep satisfying. I mean, Christian works so hard. Why don't you go and... Oh, the next show is at 5. Okay. What could you do? What could you do? 
Um. Hmm. Hmm. Something. You go to the gym. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's just let him wander around. You can have fun. Alright, she's still there. Zipping along. She wants to join the law enforcement career. That is definitely not going to happen. Most definitely. Go for a joyride. Submarine. Oh, he can't do the submarine. Um, from We're not throwing a slumber party. And they're going on a field trip to the mausoleum. Isn't that going to be spooky? So spooky. So spooky. Go ahead. Nope. Come here, Jane. You're coming up the works. Coming up the works. Why do they all want to join the law enforcement career? Is it because of all the corruption in this world, in this town? Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, you two. Go ahead. I guess they're gonna play. Doing okay, doing okay, doing okay, doing okay. He's at school. He's not on his field trip. Oh. Is that a fun thing for them? Is that like a thing you all like doing? Put away the leftovers. Christian, you don't need to do that because Mary Jane's already doing it. You could come on in here and put away these leftovers. And then, you know what? You should come on out and we won't have... We won't have Luna clean all the stuff. Oh, wow. Somebody already cleaned it. Must be our maid. Okay. Okay, Christian. Mira Jane apparently got bored during her attempts to um, put away the leftovers, so I guess that's not going to happen. And she's going to stream a video. She's going to keep working on that. And then she's going to listen to a cooking tabcast because I think that's just going to be the easiest way to get that done. Um, we do, like I said, we do need to get that that garden started again. We will. I'm so flustered by everything. It's like I have all these series I want to get back to. I want to continue Snow White and Rose Red. I want to get back to Secret Agent. I was having a really great time with both of them. Um, I've got the Telltale Tales from Borderlands series starting today. And also I'll be doing the Game of Thrones Telltale game next week. Um, I have to hiccup, sorry. I feel like I'm going to sneeze or something. So, yeah, those are things that are going to be upcoming. I really just want to get more and more content out to you all. And let's see, she's almost done. So that was my alarm going off. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please remember to leave a like and a comment. It's super, super helpful. Makes everything better. Makes YouTube aware that you're watching. I know I always say that. I hate asking. It's one of those things that... All, all of us as LPRs, we hate asking, but it also makes such an enormous difference that we have to set aside that that want and um, go ahead and do it. Also, I wanted to say this at the beginning of the uh, the episode, but I did not. We're going to be dealing with the fan fiction contest thanks to, um, I don't know if, if that's, I remember you told me the name you go by on YouTube, but uh, Yitz, your story was amazing again, and we're going to be doing that episode where we sit in. I'll send you an email. And also, for the rest of you, like I said, the two honorable mentions that we're going to read, or well, second and third place that we're going to read your fan fictions as well, if that's okay, I will send you emails. Everything's so crazy. Everything's behind. Um, and also, I wanted to say this at the beginning of the episode as well, and I'll try to remember to say it at the beginning of the next episode, but I want to give a big, hearty thank you to Wendy, I think it's Wooler. I, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um... She is so generous, so kind, comments on every video, is always encouraging, and um, even before I've been able to get my Patreon together for donations so that I can deal with some of my software and equipment issues, she donated to me, and I'm unbelievably, unbelievably grateful. I, I, I cannot thank you enough, Wendy, and I cannot thank the rest of you enough by watching, by liking, and by, like, favoriting and commenting. You are, and I know I always say this, but you're helping me build a life. It makes all the difference in the world. This year I was able to buy, um, not expensive, but some, some inexpensive holiday presents for my family. 
And that's not something that I've been able to do very much the past few years. And it's, it's just all building from here. And I'm, it's, this is becoming a real job and I want to treat it as such and put out better and better content for you. So thank you again. I'm going to shut up and I will see you next time. Bye.